This video is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system and cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you CDK deals for continuing to support the channel. What's up everybody, Bray Thorne here at CES 2023 with Arpit of Paradox Customs. What's up dude, it's good to see you again. How you doing man, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank yeah. you so much for making this interview uh, happen. I love these kind of uh, interviews. Um, you know, I got no filter for you today. I'm down to talk about whatever, man. You know, today's a celebration of CES. Uh, it's also a celebration of a uh, great 2022 for both of us. And I'm sure everyone here that's just worked hard in 2022. So, you know, for me personally, like I'm still thinking about 2022 yeah. because I haven't gotten home since. Uh, the end of the year. Oh, really? I, I, you were out and about for the for the new year. Bro, I'm so homesick right now, bro. I'm I'm going through it. So I uh, flew to LA um, on the 29th uh, for the NRG project. We built ah. 15 PCs for NRG Valorant. Now you know they're one of the five teams that made it to the uh, VCT, which is like the franchise league for Valorant. So we pretty much went in there, built them 15 PCs, like 10 for the facility and like five for the players in their own apartment so that they can still stream when they're not scrimming. And, you know, we have a lot of experience working with these kind of franchises, especially because of our involvement in the Call of Duty League. Right. So like, you know, we wanted, I think they were very impressed by how uh, professional we made the whole transaction and process. Um, and we came in and just, you know, built all 15 in two days. So all 15 were done, built, and you know installed Windows, installed Valorant, uh, all plug and play. Just ready to go. It's just yeah, ready. To Literally had all Turn 15, on win. all 15 stacked on a table, and we left. And, and we cleaned up the area really well too. Well, that's important. That is important. So um, Paradox Customs, you know, I've I've met I met you guys a while back, and it was just a random meeting at PAX East. So we're going to be coming up on a year since then. We haven't yet done anything that much, that much together. We haven't, I haven't reviewed one of your systems or anything like that, but I have of course looked at the site and y'all are, you're, you are just so open to feedback. Yeah, it, for sure. It's like immediate. When I give feedback, he's like on it because I mean, you, you know, looking at configurators, looking at websites is pretty much my day-to-day -day job. That's my nine to five. That is not nine to five. Uh, I'm more like 24 seven, but um, but it's nice to, uh, for in my in my place in my position. It's nice to have that sort of, I guess, recognized that because being in the position I'm in, firmly between consumers and system integrators, I want to help both. Because I help consumers, it helps consumers. I help system integrators, it helps consumers, and also small businesses, passionate people, large businesses with passionate people, in a very difficult inter industry. This industry is hard. And I, you know, but you guys moving up, got the got the the, the facility now. Yes. What are you calling it? What's the name? We're calling it the Kingdom, Paradox Kingdom. No, nah, no, nah, I just made it up. But we don't. No, we don't have it's on film. That's it. You had one shot. Paradox and that's a good Kingdom. One. You know, we're we're beasts in there. Um, but no, nah, it doesn't really have a, a name. We, we could just call it the warehouse or the office. Yeah. Um, I think mostly warehouse is what we call it. You know what? It's it's not a spur of the moment kind of thing. You don't just. It's like when. Y'all are gamers. You know you get to character creation. That's like half the game, right? You, what do I name my character? Hold on, give me a week. I'll be back. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, no, it's, it's not something you jump on. But I, like at some point, once you feel like everything is buttoned up, because it's sort of a never ending project to get it just how you want it. But once you feel like it is, I'll head out there. I want to take a look. I want to show the behind the scenes. But that's the best thing about these is showing the people behind the companies. Of course, you're not shy. No, not shy at all. We'll show you guys uh, every corner of the office, even the security uh, camera footage. <laughs> no, no. We but, need a live feed 24 seven, yeah, please. Yeah, we got you, yo. We're <laughs> taking it to the next level. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, our warehouse was a great improvement for us. We basically, um, it has like an office space when you walk in for like a lot of setups for like office work and sales and all that. Yeah. And then there's only one private office, which is mine. And then connecting to that is like the content studio. 
nice. where we have like three setups where people can, you know, uh, upload footage to the drive or edit videos. Um, you know, we, we only currently have like one uh, social or content employee in house and the rest are remote. So, you know, like right now, it's just one employee that really handles a lot of it. You know, the stream, the uploading of footage and all right. that. And then the rest of the guys, the ones editing and just uh, posting. Right, right, right. But it, it, it is nice to separate that, though, because creating content, making the making the footage and the audio and everything being separated from a bit separated from the editing is nice because I get bogged down in both. Of course, I got Cuddles, who, who does a lot of bulk editing for us and a lot of the editing for us. And that's what's up, Cuddles. Wish you were here, bro. But LTX. Cuddles is his name? Mr. Cuddles. Yes. Mr. Cuddles, yes, shout yes, out yes. to you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, he's been with me since day one. That's that's my day one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's an it's an ever evolving thing. Things are always changing, and I've I. It's really kind of tough for me because when I get a system, I'll, in some cases, I will replace my main PC, put that system to live with it for a bit, because it's not just about specs or benchmarks. No, these are greater. These PCs are greater than the sum of their parts, and it's about the experience. That's what PCs really are. You're taking all these things, putting them together, and creating something much bigger that you have in your, how, how long do we sit in front of our PCs? All day. Yeah. All day for like Ideally. two, two to three years. I, I feel like the PC stays relatively the same aesthetics wise. And then people will either swap the case out, but they'll still use the same board and CPU that they had, same cooler. And then at some point they upgraded to like a 4080 or 4090. Right. So uh, yeah. then there's some people who will just get one and it just it just stays like it is until they buy a new one. Yeah. Of course, it takes all types. No, it, oh, for sure. What, but now let me ask you for you guys. What if you have someone who two, three years from now says, hey, look, can we upgrade my PC? How do you accommodate that to make it a more sensible option than buying or building a completely new one? Um, so we do it uh, really well and we do it uh, um, in areas that can be improved. And so CPU, GPU, that kind of stuff. If there's an upgrade path, all that. Yeah. So, so basically if a customer hits us up, they're like, Hey, um, whether it's a past customer, like it's our PC or it's not our PC. Um, like we can definitely have them send it in and we provide the shipping labels. So we get great discounts on UPS. Nice. So we'll typically be like, um, yo, let us provide the shipping label. Um, and then we'll invoice you like for everything, you know, combined. Right. So like. If they pay for the return shipping, uh, which obviously, because it's just a repair, it's not like a warranty uh, right. claim. So, like, they send it in, and whatever the bill is for, like, the labor or the parts, they're like, that's the total. Right. And now, when it comes to the actual specifics, like, we definitely do recommend what what they should go with. Yeah. Uh, but we also ask them what they're in the mood for. You know, if they have a if they have a case that is not that old. And it has right. a lot of fitment, then why change it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, we typically make the best decisions for them. Um, and then you know, if it's like an old CPU and an old motherboard, then we're gonna tell them to upgrade it. Right. Um, so where in the specifics, we like an area where we can improve is we don't really do trade-ins. So like, right, if you right, right. if you have a PC with like a 7900X and you want to trade it in for like an Intel, right? For whatever reason, like yeah, sure, that's it. a semi. Because it's something that you can turn around and actually sell. Exactly. We don't like. We used to be like, oh yeah, yeah, with thirty seven hundred X Pro, like I'll give you like one twenty four. Like you know, I guess we could figure it out. That has lost us thousands and thousands of dollars yeah. by taking in parts that we failed to uh, resell. Most system integrators don't do it. Yeah. That's not. It's not a common thing. It, it, it's and it's something that only on a smaller scale is is possible and still not profitable. So yeah. And, and I don't think that anyone's going to be like, I can't believe they don't take old computers. However, I, I think, you know what I think would be cool? Work with a program that redistributes them to those in need. That'd be kind of cool to where it doesn't really come to you. You can redirect, but then the customer doesn't really get anything back for it. But at least there's going to be a percentage of them who are like, oh, yeah, I'll donate it. That might be kind of a cool collaboration. That's a great idea. No, that's a genius idea. I'm it, full it, of them. I'm full of them. I mean, full like, bad ideas. I mean, <laughs> I mean, no, these are all great ideas so far. But we we, we definitely have. Um, we we definitely can do that. You know, get right. that going. And, maybe and, and you could. Maybe if they do it, if they do donate, maybe you just provide a discount code or something. Yeah, just exactly. a, nothing. Nothing that's gonna. Nothing because already hardware margins suck. 
So nothing that's going to like keep y'all from being able to do business, but something that'll encourage and you know, you're, you're like, Hey, thank you for donating. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. We can do that. And, and I think that, um, we, we tend to recommend, you know, them getting a new PC in the beginning. Right. So if they're like, Hey, I want to upgrade this. I will typically ask like, yo, like you got any family members or like things you could sell it to like a hand me down. Yeah. We get celebrities yeah. too. Like, yo, let me sell my PC. I'm like, bro, like you gotta have some, you know, family member some you can pass us down to yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah but but you know if they want to go that route i think that we are definitely still like the best or one of the best in the repair section it's not something we talk about much yeah but like you know with a company that we're still you know the size that we are the attention the detail we give to every customer you're gonna get the best service from us you know you send it in we like oh yeah let's put this in this case let's get you the latest cpu the latest board uh you know, this SSD is old, like, let's get you an NVMe. Do you want us to still plug in your old SSD? Like, we go through everything. Right. You know, like, it, it's easy. And, and like, do, do you do things like, you know, migrating things over to the newer drive if they don't want the old one? Because that's, you don't really oh, want that, that's an old operating system to keep going from system to system. That's not, you want to, so here's the thing, guys. If you have an older PC with an older type of media for your drive, like, uh, a hard drive for one thing, but also even an SSD. An NVMe SSD is going to be way faster. So the best thing to do is actually back up all your files that you want to, on the new one to the cloud. Yep. And it's going to write so fast to the new system and you're going to have a clean slate. So if you've recommended that to people, just know you can point them at this video. Listen, you listen this man if he tells you to do that, just back up your stuff. And that old operating system, it did its job. Let it rest. 100%. And like, you got to move uh, your windows to the fastest drive. You know? Yes. Like if you have an SSD with the 500 read and write speed, like, and you get in, we're gonna, you know, the cheap, the, the slowest SSD we offer is like 3,300 megabytes. Right. Second. And, and, and you're we going up to like 7,300. We saw drives here that are like 12,000 12, 12, megabyte per second. 12 gigabytes a second. That's yes. faster than Fios internet. Yes. <laughs> it's faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. So this is the end of the show, by the way. People are like tearing down their stuff. We just, we hadn't gotten to, to this get is together. A, nah, this now, is a good time, this is a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, for real. Get to close like, it out the best way. I'm very uh, happy to be friends with you, man. I really do yeah. want to work with you long-term. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, if you guys are watching this, you guys are supporting a great dude who's making some great content and he's ahead of the game and he's only going to stay ahead of the game. I think that system integrator content creators will be um, like, very popular. I want there know. to be more. I want there will. more people to be served by. It's an under. It's such an underserved audience. Yeah. You guys deserve more. So uh, from what I like, there there are some content creators who are doing more of that. Justin Roby. You guys should. If you haven't already talked to Roby Justin Roby, yeah, Roby Tech. Oh yeah, I like Roby Tech. Yeah, I look up to the guy. He's he's amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, so, I saw him at TS. Yeah. I mean, like, competition's good for you. Same way you're saying, oh, I'm gonna get into shorts. If you, if your market was more saturated, you would have already gotten into shorts because yeah. you would have been stressing when all the other people were posting about it. See, I was I, I don't do shorts or TikTok, and I probably I just hit 25k subs on YouTube two days ago. Huge shout that out. That thank thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for being part of the channel. Had I been more on top of short form content, I would probably have been there already. But I've been growth is not something I get obsessed over. Of course, it's That's quality. Fair. That's yes. what I'm, I'm more obsessed with, and making sure that I when I when someone goes out of the way for me, like say you guys send out a PC, you're gonna get awesome B roll on it, all that stuff, and of course, a an unbiased look at it too. So if there's anything that you guys can improve on, that I provide that as a value. Yeah. You if it's do. like okay, this is and and I've actually had some system integrators change things based on some things that I found. Yep. It's, we it's did it too. helps everybody. It's awesome. So we had a spelling mistake on the Mac cube and you called it out. I forgot I about it. that. And, and the funny thing is, is like when I watched it, you were so cool about it that I was like, I had like a sigh of relief. Cause like, it's, <laughs> like, you know, like that relief where you like, you just trust somebody even more. Cause you're just like, it's all right guys. It's just the beginning of the website. It's a beta, like next move yeah. on. Yeah, it, it's look, it it, it's it's not an anti-consumer practice. It's a spelling error. Yeah, that's when you get rage thorn. That's when it comes out like, you know, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. All right. But if it's something silly like that, it's like, dude, it's like when you're hanging out with your friends. And even if I am sarcastic, it's not meant to be a hurtful thing. It's like when your friends are yeah, like exactly. those people who, you know, if they mess with you, that's because they're your friend. And if they don't mess with you, 
they're not close to you. Yeah. But no, it's good, man. System integrators do a lot. Like it's it's such an important industry, and you know it, what you're doing. What, I, li I like what you're doing. I like the way you guys handle socials. So I'm looking forward to what you guys do in 2023. I like the way you guys build. These builds are so clean, like squeaky clean. We don't have any branding on our PCs, and uh, people ask why we don't have branding yet, and the answer is like. I mean, we probably should have branding by now, but at the same time, like we don't make anything, right? right. Like, right. like, like we're still making the systems. Um, but like, to me, just adding a sticker or a plaque, uh, I'd rather wait until we have like a custom case. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something right now that is going to change your mind about putting branding on something that's not proprietary, because that's proprietary stuff, right? Do artists manufacture paint or canvases? No they put them together and then they sign it. Yes. All right? No, you're right. This is taking disparate parts that are meant to go together, but taking parts, putting them together in your own way. And it deserves your signature. No, it does. So Guys, that, that's, that's my two cents. That's my two cents. Not that it's wrong either way. That's my opinion on it. Yeah. And it, but that's the thing. It's so clean. Like that's, that makes it look cleaner, but that just means whatever you put on there, should also be clean. Yeah. So like our branding has always been our cable management, and like I, I, think, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. But like that—that's a very narrow-minded uh, view of thinking. That's like me thinking I'm in a bubble. I feel like I'm the sh in the Call of Duty space or Twitter, or whatever. But the truth is, yeah, like people can build that way with the cable management. Oh right, right, yeah. Um, but it takes them many tries, or right. like you know, we've just been working for us, but. I, we do need to get branding. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, and and, um, and it's not me chastising you saying you should have done this already. It's more like, this is why I think you should. And you can be like, I just choose not, this is your company, this is your PCs. Yeah. And I want every, every system integrator to know that. When I'm making suggestions, it's not law. It's not like you're bad if you don't do what I say. It's just like, this is my two cents. You know, so I don't want you to feel bad that you don't already have it on there. Yeah. It's something to think about and honestly, something subtle could elevate it. Oh yeah, facts. If it's, you know, so anyways. We, we gotta just put some R&D into it, you know? like How about some suggestions in the comments below? Please guys, let me know. How should Paradox Customs, they got logos, they got a font, they got all that. How should they brand their cases? And should they? Am I right? Or, what? Well, like right or wrong, but do you, agree, do you agree with my opinion? Or do you think they should keep it completely brand free? Let us know in the comments. Dude, I think they're trying to shut it down here, so we should do the same. My man. Yeah. We're Yo, next huge shout out to Nanoleaf for having us uh, talking right here. Is yes. Nanoleaf, awesome people, and had this whole thing up here and everything, and left it up so that we could have this sit and chat and all that. Appreciate that. It's a vibe. And, uh, and Arpit, thanks, man. Next event, let's go hang out. Let's do it, dude. Right. Let's, have, let's have a beer. Let's have a, let's have a good time. And uh, you know, let's let's have a great 2023, man. And just let's hope you let, all too. Let's go, nerds! I just wanted to add that at the end. You yes. were leading right up to it. All right, take care, everybody. Peace. How's it vibe? survive.